acutely aware that we do not have the benefit of time at all from 7th January, it's just around the corner, after we get sworn into office. Ghanaians have high hopes and expectations which we have every intention of meeting. In particular, the 24-hour economic policy pledge has found resonance with most Ghanaians, especially the youth, as confirmed by both database and anecdotal evidence. We remain determined to build the Ghana we want together with all Ghanaians so that we can collectively reap the outcomes of our shared prosperity. The policy dialogue is further proof of our desire to subject our policy proposals to scrutiny and to synthesize various views to enable us refine and fine tune them to meet the expectations of our dear people. The widespread acceptance of the 24-hour policy appears to have sent the NPP campaign into a tailspin leading to a frenzied effort to attack it through calumny and disinformation in these last few days. We are fortified in the knowledge that the days when the MPP assumed that they could use falsehood to hoodwink Ghanaians for electoral advantage are over, especially because of their horrific performance in the last seven years after they were entrusted with the administration of our dear nation, Ghana. Not only do I have a much better and measurable record of performance in both my role as Vice President and as Head of the Economic Management Team and later as President, but I also have a record of taking responsibility. I note that my longest part pledges to substantially reduce the size of government by having much fewer ministers, appointees, and to abolish the payment of ex gratia to scrap some taxes like the e-levy and carry out far-reaching constitutional and governance reforms have compelled my opponents to promise same despite being front of center of the poor governance under which all these ills have taken place. We are ready and a lot is happening. I have the utmost confidence that very soon we shall see and have a feel of a manifesto that responds to the day-to-day -day needs of Ghanaians and leverages on our shared aspirations and common identity when it is launched. A manifesto that will be anchored on the people's will. We are ready. I am ready. And I am ready. Yes. Yes. To lead us to build the Ghana we want together. Yes.